Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Fun Facts video. So today's Fun Facts are going to be for the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh attraction. Now initially these Fun Facts were going to be for Goofy in the Olympic Champ. But of course you know when I can't find any Fun Facts on a video I'm supposed to do, I go straight to an attraction. So, uh, enjoy these fun facts for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. The many adventures of Winnie the Pooh has been delighting Disney and A.A. A. Milne fans for 20 years. June 5, 2019 marked the 20th anniversary of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh in Magic Kingdom's Fantasyland. For 20 years, families have ridden bouncing honeypots through the Hundred Acre Woods to join Owl, Roo, Tigger, and of course Pooh in the most gentle of bears, as they begin another adventure. Walt was a fan of Winnie. Walt Disney became interested in Winnie the Pooh based on his daughter Diane's enjoyment of the book. He attempted to get the movie rights as early as 1938 and succeeded in 1961. Walt had a hand in the movie, even 31 years after his passing. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh was a recut combination of three separate short films, Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, 1966, Winnie of the Pooh and the Blustery Day, 1968, and Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2, 1974. This was the last feature cartoon that Walt Disney had a direct hand in overseeing the first two segments. The plan was not for Orlando. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh attraction has initially, was initially imagined in the late 1970s after the movie was released and planned for an upgrade to Disneyland's Fantasyland. But that fell through and Disneyland did not get a Winnie the Pooh ride until 2004. Mr. Toad is gone, but not forgotten. The ride replaced Mr. Toad's wild ride in Walt Disney World, a senti sentimental favorite. Never once to forget their history, the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh displays pictures of Mr. Toad handing over the deed to Owl and of Pooh and Molly, one of Mr. Toad's best friends. Nearby, a statue of Toad is also in the pet cemetery outside of Haunted Mansion. I'd also like to add real quick, when I was writing the word cemetery, I spelled it like it was in the um, movie Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, so I'm just going to throw that out there. You guys can laugh at me if you'd like. I laughed at myself. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh was born quickly. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride closed in September 1998, and nine months later, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh opened. That's a much faster turnover than most attractions today. Of course, the galaxy takes a little longer than an adventure to build. These mobile honey pots are motion activated. They will bounce joy joyously when Tigger is in encountered. There is a wonderful thing about Tiggers. Two special stars are shared between the movie and the ride. Walt Disney World's version of the ride is the only ride to feature two of the movie's original voice actors, John Fielder as Piglet and Paul Winchell as Tigger. Fielder and Winchell died within a day of each other in June 2005. Tigger was no slouch. Paul Winchell was an amazing individual. He was an early TV star with a medical background. He developed a method for cultivating tilapia fish in remote African villages as a means of solving hunger. You can see tilapia growing in tanks in Epcot's The Land. Winchell also held patents for an artificial heart, a flameless cigarette lighter, a disposable razor, and an invisible garter belt. The apple doesn't fall far from the honey tree. Paul Winchell is also the father of April Winchell, a current Disney voice actor who voiced several roles for Goof Troop, as well as Cruella DeVille and Clarabelle Cow. Pooh can be heard in Epcot if you listen quickly. Jim Cummings voiced Pooh for Disney World's Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh and replaced Winchell as Tigger in the Disneyland attraction ride after Winchell retired in 1999. He also is the narrator for Illuminations, Reflections of Earth at Epcot, and provides many other Disney voices. The interactive queue is fun for kids and adults. The biggest change to the ride visitors to Visitors to the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh can experience a top-rated interactive queue if you don't use a fast pass. The attraction added the interactive queue in 2010. Pay attention while enjoying the queue area. The Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is one of the carvings inside of the treehouse play area. And those are your fun facts for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh attraction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.